Hey guys, it's time to make a back with another video for you, uh, and today we're going to be uh, taking a look at the uh, WoW server that uh, I did quite a while ago. Um, now, basically, uh, what happened is uh, the we set it all up, and uh, the onboard raid wasn't really well. It was nowhere near fast enough. It was uh, with the amount of drives and what we were asking from it. It just wasn't up to scratch. Uh, the RAID 5 with the onboard was it was really, really slow. With five drives we were barely getting uh, over a hundred megasecond. It was, it was terrible. Um, uh, we tried a couple of different ways. RAID 0 was fine. It, it liked RAID 0, pretty cool. Um, but 5, it just it, it seemed to, it just didn't like it. It seemed to spike quite a lot as well. It just really wasn't really wasn't happy, we tried a couple of different drivers and stuff but yeah, it just wasn't really playing ball um, and uh, when I was talking to Hayley about it she basically she wanted to get herself a RAID card and a network card and kind of take it up another notch um, so to cut a long story short uh, it's, it's changed quite significantly but what I'll do is I'll give you a cut in now, give you a good look around the machine and then we'll come back tell you a bit more about what's going on, how we've got on with it, and then we'll also do a uh, uh, benchmark quickly as well. Right then, quick look at the system, because we have made a few changes. Uh, so yeah, just bring you in. Most notable change is the RAID card. It's an Adaptec 5805 RAID card. It's got 512 megabyte of cache. Uh, it's 8 port. But, yeah, there's that. Uh, then we've also got, which I'll show you up close in a sec, a StarTech 4 port, uh, 4 port gigabit network card, all the connections a gigabit uh, and we've also we've changed the drives for Samsung Spinpoint F4 2 terabyte drives we've now got 6 uh, but they're going to be in a RAID 6 still got the uh, V plus 100 Kingston solid state drive in the bottom 64 gigabyte one and then the rest of the system is also still the same but if this is the first video that you've seen we've got a um, P7H57DV EVO ASUS motherboard there's a uh, i3530 4 gigabyte of uh, G-Skill Eco RAM 650 watt NZXT hail Fractal R3, all uh, knocked to a fanned out front and at the top, and then we've got the uh, knocked to a cooler as well with the overclock 3D badge. So, yeah, that's the rig. I'm going to give you a close look at the uh, StarTech card now, um, and I will explain more to you about what's going on. And you can see my ugly mug, and then we'll have a look at some speeds and stuff. But this is pretty much Haley's rig finished now. Right, and just wanted to give you a quick look around the card. In fact, if I bring it all in, you can just see. This is a proper nerdy bit of kit. As I've said in the other video, it's made by StarTech. Strangely doesn't say... Oh yeah, it does. There we go. Made by StarTech. But four... gigabit connections in the back. PCIe 1 interface. Obviously, this isn't made to be, um, uh, it's more of an industrial kind of 
professional use rather than it having to have a black PCB or something like that to go in a like a normal kind of like gaming kind of enthusiast style rig but anyway right let's move on to the rest of the system in fact no I'm going to put this back in right then so you've had a good look around the machine uh, I'll give you some updates on why we've made some changes a like I said uh, the onboard raid was uh, a bit iffy so we've got a 5805 from Adaptec it's 8 port, it's one of the small uh, cards um, it was still, I think it was still about 350 quid though, I can't remember, I think it was 350 pound and then the cable was on top so it ended up coming at about 400 quid, so it wasn't cheap um, but the speed difference is phenomenal, I mean the uh, read that that one's just done there is 1283 um, megabytes a second, so it's over a gig a second on this RAID 6 so absolutely flies. Uh, I'll show you in a second anyway. We also stuck the uh, Adaptec network card in there. Now that is four ports, so you can either have four individual ports going off and doing different things, ins, outs, whatever, share your internet, all that kind of stuff. But you can also pair them up if you want to. Uh, but if you do pair them, uh, server 2008 will set them as one for in and then one for out. You have to mess about with the uh, routing uh, settings routing and networking settings or something like that uh, I need to read up on it, I really don't know enough about it but I know it is possible uh, and then you will get near enough double the transfer speed uh, I'm getting on one line with my server to my main rig and a lot of people don't believe me because my speeds are so high but I do get 110 megabytes a second minimum uh, my rig's got an SSD in it uh, the server's got all of you know my RAID and everything in it, and I, I don't really get a lot of loss across my network at all, even going via a switch. Um, but yeah, 110 minimum, it's normally floating around 115, 120, it doesn't really um, budge much between those two. Literally, it maxes my gigabit line out, it's more than I could ask for, but I will be because I've got one of these StarTech cards as well. I will play around with all the settings on my server so that I can uh, get it all paired up so I can then I'm hoping to get about 190, 200 meg a second but that's all possible but this I know a lot of people are going to go that's stupid overkill for a home server and you're right it is but we're all enthusiasts we all have our hobbies and we all have our reasons for wanting it Hayley wanted uh, a mass amount of safe storage but also a platform that she could learn on as well because at the end of the day, uh, the server side of things, uh, or at least server 2008, does open a whole range of stuff that you can fart about, fiddle with, DHCP, you know, sharing your internet, all of that kind of stuff. And then it's it's there if you want to play with it. But also, like I said, because of the RAID card and the fact it's safe, if the drives go, you can just pop them out, stick a blank replacement in, pop it back in, and, you know, at the end of the day, RAID should fix and rebuild itself so it's all nice and safe most importantly it's it looks clean uh, there's great airflow in there the fans are all you know they're on uh, as good as silent to be perfectly honest with you um, so it's going to sit quietly in the corner um, and cool as well even when this was building the RAID and all the drives are going completely nuts these drives were not getting warm at all to the touch they just felt so cool you still feel all the cold air coming over the top from the, um, uh, the fans in the front and some dust filled as well so at the end of the day it's you could stick a graphics card in this and game on it and you'd be well away and with the speeds that we're getting I'm, I'll show you quickly, I'll just pop you off and I'll even carry you in that's the speeds that we're getting And if I just do, we'll do it quickly and you can see it go, I'll stick it on a hundred. Yeah, I know we're sat here watching a flipping benchmark, but at the end of the day you can see them coming out live then.
but absolutely stonking speeds for what it is. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's all nice and tidy. It's quiet. Right, let's get you back on a tripod. So, yeah, that's uh, the WoW storage server finally done. Uh, because of the uh, where we wanted to change the ray card and we changed the drives and stuff, that's where the delay's been. And then obviously I had all the uh, Christmas uh, competition and all that kind of stuff in, but she's finally done. Hayley's going to be coming and picking it up. And uh, all of those regulars that do watch these videos a lot and the forum members, uh, we are, or I am, going to be doing a, <coughs> a main rig for her. Uh, I'm going to dust off the paint gun um, and yeah, I'm going to be doing a big rig for her, based around uh, a 980 and a pair of 580s. Uh, it's all going to be water cooled. Um, I'm still waiting on some stuff to come from Bits Power. Um, but yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, Candy is going to be making a comeback in a big way. Um, so yeah, I'm actually quite looking forward to getting down and dirty with that. I've not done a proper full on system in well over a year um, but it may become a little bit more of a feature now because quite a lot of people are asking me to do it again. But anyway, um, yes, uh, I'm going to sign off. This is the uh, WOW storage server for Haley on the OC3D forums, done and dusted. Um, there's plenty for her to play with here now and uh, yeah, it's nice to be able to sign it off. Uh, but we'll be signing this one off and then cracking immediately on with another one. Uh, you can expect a few builds from me over the coming months. Um, we're going to be doing a budget AMD system like we did with the i3 that I did previously based around an AMD uh, 635. Uh, it'll be a rig for less, well it'll be about £400-£450 pound we'll be doing that with a 460 in it. Uh, I've got some stuff coming with that. So that one will be really nice. Um, then we've got some uh, big water cooled stuff coming as well, uh, based around a half X Nvidia edition, a 580, uh, all water cooled with um, uh, EK stuff from Special Tech. So there is uh, quite a lot of stuff coming. I have literally got parts coming out of my ear rolls at the moment. Um, so I really do hope all you guys enjoy it. Uh, but it's Sunday afternoon, I can hear knives and forks, afternoon, evening, I can hear knives and forks rattling uh, in the background. So I'm going to uh, sign off now and I'm going to go and eat some food because I'm starving. Uh, oh, another thing, because at the end of the day, this is going to be about the regulars and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we will be uh, doing some more nerd baking. So keep your eye out for that as well. I've uh, got a few more things that I'm going to have a little bit of a play with. But we, we might do some more funky stuff like that in the meantime just for a laugh. But anyway, I need to be quiet. Go and eat because, yeah, I need to go and eat. This is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out.